Vertical aerial photographs are taken by a specially equipped airplane that flies back and forth over the terrain, usually in a north-south pattern. Adjacent photographs overlap by about two-thirds, and within the area of overlap, the image can be viewed in three dimensions using a stereoscope, either a mirror stereoscope like this, or a pocket stereoscope. The first step to viewing aerial photographs is to establish the direction of flight. Let's take a closer look at a pair of aerial photographs, in this case showing Loch Lomond in Santa Cruz County. At the top of each photograph you will find the date, the symbol for the agency that had the photographs taken, in this case Santa Cruz County, the flight line, and the photo number. The photo number is also over in the corner. This is photo number 21, and the other photo is photo number 22. In this case, the airplane was flying in a north-south pattern, so all of the metadata is printed at the north edge of the photograph. In order to view these photographs stereoscopically, we need to rotate them into the direction of the flight line, either north or south. In order to establish which direction the airplane was flying, let's look first at the dam here on photo 21. The dam below Loch Lomond is at the edge of the photo. In photo number 22, the dam is near the center of the photo. What this means is that the airplane was flying towards the south and leaving the dam behind it. And this is the proper orientation for viewing the photos under the stereoscope. If we should have accidentally reversed the photos like this, then when we place the photos under the stereoscope, we'd end up with negative topography. And you'd know that right away once you got it into stereo. Now let's position the photographs under the mirror stereoscope and see the operation of that instrument. First, I orient my two photos under the mirrors. I'm going to look down through the lenses here. And I put my finger on a distinctive feature on each of the photos. In this case, this is the dam at Loch Lomond. And I slide the photos along the direction of flight until my two fingers coincide. And when that happens, with a little jiggling and so on, the, the photos, the image should pop into stereo. Then, using the, the tracks on the stereoscope, I can move the stereoscope around and view the entire area of overlap. In this configuration, there is no magnification. By taking these two dials and flipping them up, that will give me uh, 1.8 magnification. And then, by flipping these two dials back down and bringing down the lenses, I'll get three power magnification. I change the, the focusing by rotating these lenses, and I change pull in and out to adjust for the width of my eyes, and then look down. There is also another set of, of eyepieces available which provides six power magnification.